What's going on guys, Road King Sino here bringing you another episode of the Dirty Left Shoe Chronicles. You dig? Alright, batteries installed. So you can see up underneath there, kinda, sorta. Real loud test. Let's see what we got. It didn't blow up, so we good to go, man. It's definitely alive. The uh, volts is reading the healthy 13.5 volts. I will say so far, so good in terms of uh, the lithium setup. I haven't really driven it thoroughly yet, but I can feel a little bit of difference as far as that backslash mid in with 30 pounds saving. So I'm gonna find an open parking lot so I can talk to you all about it, about the install and everything and how it went. Might sound crazy, I just got on a straightaway and hit it real quick and I can definitely feel the pickup guys. Like, it, um, it's definitely a different ball game. I can't, I'm not gonna change it right now doing it one handed, but for my guys out there who, um, or girls, who knows what the T-Rex feels like with the yellow top, um, when you hit it, like when you pass out on it, kind of feel like a little top heavy where that battery sits behind you i felt none of that felt like it was like pure acceleration i could definitely feel a weight difference guys 30 pounds you might not think it's a lot especially where it sits but i feel the difference especially in the acceleration you've seen it crank right up that was a cold start um i hadn't even cranked it up after i installed everything everyone who knows installing this thing is a pain when you gotta move the um, covers and whatnot, you know, that goes over the air box and yada, yada, yada. This is stuff that y'all know, at least my T-Rex owners, you guys already know. Um, let's get right to it. This particular, this particular battery tray, it fits the yellow top and it fits the yellow top without any problems. The dimensions on this, and you have to revert back to the video before this, the dimensions on this battery uh, width-wise. Length, going this way, okay? Length, we're going to say going this way. Width-wise was actually smaller with this battery, but I did have an issue with having to kind of push it down into the tray a bit because those little clamp pieces, I'm not sure if you guys... Uh, would know what I'm talking about, but when you have a regular, um, let's say if you was installing this into a car, and it has like a little boot that kind of clips around or clips on the lip of these batteries, that little lip part seems like it's a little wider um, in terms of the width than, you know what I mean, than the yellow top. No biggie. I was able to get it down in there. These two bolts worked. So... I was able to use those two bolts, the front two bolts, not so much. So I will have to modify um, at some point. But other than that, it pretty much just fell right into place. I did have to rotate my quick connect a bit just because the terminals sit a little wider on this setup versus the yellow top. But outside of that, guys, um, it was not bad at all. You know what I mean? It was no problem with the install. Um, it was good to go. I got my lights on now. I'm literally going to probably spend the next like few weeks or so trying to drain this thing. I'm not going to draw uh, this video out too much or too long. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update as quick as possible to let you know that it cranks right up. No issues at all. Um, the volts read at about 13.5, went up to about 13.8 or so. Um, and that's with it, with it running. Haven't had any issues so far, but again, I just installed it, and this is my first day or night out, let's say, with it. My stereo system runs about 11 to 1200 watts RMS, okay? We're not talking peak, we're talking actual watts here. So, um, it's about 11 to 1200. I don't have a very big, big system or anything like that, but, you know, it's enough to where it will drain 
a regular battery. Uh, I didn't have any issues with it with the yellow top, but I will say, I checked the volts on the yellow top when I pulled it out, and the yellow top was pretty much one full volt lower than this battery at Rustin Volts. And that's to be expected. I mean, the date on the battery was 2014. I know I told you guys I only had the battery for about five or six years, but honestly, it's looking more like I had the battery about nine, <laughs> close to 10 years now. Uh, so that says a lot about the Optima battery. Again, it was a great battery for sure for the time being, but stepping up, man, to the new age and uh, with this lithium and with the weight savings, I will say, I didn't think so at first, but as you've seen in the clips earlier, you can definitely feel the 30 pound difference in weight when you accelerate, especially when you accelerate. You know, this is going to be a person who's accelerating hard uh, from a dead stop and um, you're going to feel it. For some reason, I'm really noticing now how top heavy the yellow top made this thing feel. Remember guys, what we're riding in is much different than what most people are used to. But when I say top heavy, I'm meaning right here in this area, right here in this area, you're able to feel the weight. It's kind of hard to explain, but when you accelerate in these things and you have that yellow top sitting there, almost 45 pounds, 44 pounds sitting there and you accelerate, you feel the weight right in this compartment especially when you had a yellow top and it doesn't feel like it's uncontrollable or anything like that but you feel the weight of the battery kind of shift a bit with the tire you know what i mean so with that being said i was able to hit it i hit it on a straightaway just a bit and i kid you not guys the wheel got squirrely but it felt like pure acceleration it didn't feel like any weight was back here transferring from side to side with the wheel um, it's hard to explain, but the feeling was definitely amazing. The key of what I'm going to try and do with this battery is drain it. And um, you know what I mean? See how reliable it is. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to try and drain it to zero or anything like that, even though, you know, people have known, even though people know that with lithium, you it's not like a lead acid battery or anything like that. The chemistry is different, and technically, you can drain it down to zero, or I think they say 5%, 10%, something like that. And... Um, it won't have any issues with charging it back up. So we are gonna see when the tests start happening. I definitely am eager to do the highway runs now, being that um, it just feels like it's a lot quicker in accelerating, guys. You'd be amazed how much 30 pounds saves in weight. And remember, I already got rid of my um, dual exhaust system for the full uh, muzzy exhaust and i can't remember what the weight savings was there but you can check it out uh in one of the previous videos so once we do the highway runs we'll kind of get a good sense of what things are and also how well this battery does in the future let me know even though i didn't uh get a weight of my t-rex particularly before i started this weight reduction type thing or what it seemed to be turning into you guys let me know at least my T-Rex owners and anyone else too, of course, if you'd be interested in me going to go weigh my T-Rex, maybe at a weigh station or something like that, just to see where I'm at in weight, maybe in comparison to you guys' weight, um, it might not be something that I do for, uh, you know what I mean, a video, maybe I can just kind of post it in one of the groups and whatnot, but you guys let me know if that's something you would be interested in. And uh, maybe I'll go ahead and weigh this thing and see where we're at. Alright guys, so first impression overall of this Lithium LiFo 4 12 volt dual purpose uh, Weez, Weez battery, W-E-I-Z-E -E. First impression is good. I would definitely say first impression is good with it so far. Um, I'm probably going to check it again with my voltmeter sometime tomorrow maybe just to see uh, how it's uh, sitting as far as resting volts and from what I'm seeing and feeling from this thing even though T-Rex guys hey you know we got the issues or some people got the issues with the slingshot owners and this that and the third this battery will be a great addition for a slingshot a car you know for someone who got the need for speed in a car as well as 
a Harley Davidson, my Harley Davidson bagger guys out there. There are other companies out there, guys, that offer lithium batteries, okay? I'm not saying it's not, but for the price point and for what you get with this one, it's a winner for me. I've seen price ranges from $800 up to almost a couple thousand dollars, believe it or not. Uh, 15, 16s, 18s. So, you know, you got to ask yourself, you know, is the brand name or is that particular battery, or that particular battery worth that type of money? That's totally up to you. But the only thing I'm telling you is you might want to give this battery a try because so far, so good. Make sure you stay tuned for the updates. We're going to do some highway runs. We're going to do a lot more with this T-Rex. We're really going to get active. All right, guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Most of all, share this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.